Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm your Pakistan studies teacher and uh, today we are going to revise uh, chapter number 4 and the chapter name is History of Pakistan. Today we will revise two short questions. One is short question number 8 and the other is short question number 9. First we will take a start with the short question number 8. The question is how Ayub Khan got success in the elections of 1965. First come to the background. With the imposition of 1962 constitution, different political parties of Pakistan started their activities. All leaders of Muslim League called the party convention. Muslim League in groups, convention elected Ayub Khan as the president of Muslim League. This decision was not acceptable to the members of Muslim League. So Muslim League was divided into two groups. One is convention Muslim League and the other council Muslim League. Supporters of Ms. Fatma Jinnah, in presidential elections, Ayub Khan had a competition with Ms. Fatma Jinnah. The opposition parties were supporting Ms. Fatma Jinnah. Besides these, Council Muslim League, Jumaat Islami, Awami League, National Awami Party, etc. were also supporting Ms. Fatma Jinnah. Supporters of Ayub Khan. In these elections, Ayub Khan was supported by Government of East and West Pakistan, BD members, and the whole government machinery. So, due to the illegal and immoral activities of Ms. Fatma, activities Ms. Fatma Jinnah was defeated in the elections and Ayub Khan was successful. That was all about the general elections of 1965. Now come to the short question number 9 and the question is was, what is Tashkan Accord? First come to the background. On 6th September 1965, a war was started between Pakistan and India. In the war of 17 days, army, air and naval forces of both the countries took part. Tashkent Accord In January 1966, Russian Prime Minister Mr. Kostin signed an accord between both the countries. This accord was signed by Prime Minister of India Lal Bahadur Shastri and President of Pakistan Ayub Khan at Tashkent city of Uzbekistan. This accord is known as Tashkent Accord. What was the purpose of the accord? The main purpose of the accord was to solve the Kashmir issue. Due to the Pak India War of 1971, the problem remained unsolved. So, what happened in Tashkent Accord? Stress given to solve the mutual disputes between both the countries through dialogues. That was all about short question number 8 and 9.